See, I think there are three kinds of people. They're winners, people that, that know who they are, know what they want, know their potential, know what the possibilities for their lives, and they go out and they take life on. And then there are far more other people, and those are the losers in life. They don't know who they are. They've set themselves up to, to be losers. Circumstances, events, various experiences have shaped this image of themselves. They draw hard times and bad luck to themselves. They feel that it's hopeless and no sense in trying to change it. But then there's another group, and that's who you are. I think you are in this group. And this group are winners who have not discovered the keys that will enable them to unlock some new opportunities for themselves, some new experiences for themselves. These are people who, who they're winners, they know that they are, but they're out of alignment. They're out of sync with themselves. They just need some twerking, just need some coaching, just need to make some adjustments here and there. Just need to be given an opportunity, just need a little help, a little assistance. And often, they're gone. How can you identify these people? Because these people who are winners, who have not discovered the keys that will enable them to tap into their greatness, they're always searching. They're brave. Stormy weather, icy streets, sleet and rain. To get there. These people always seeking. Going to seminars, going to workshops, reading books, asking questions. Trying to find some answers to their lives. These people have what Howard Thurman calls in one of his books entitled, Deep is the Hunger. Now these people have a deep hunger for a new life. These people, deep down in their souls, they say, God, there's got to be more. This cannot be it for my life. and their friends look at them weird. They think they're strange. What's wrong with you? Why can't you be satisfied with what you got? Why do you have to have that? Why can't you just settle down? Why do you have to do this? They don't understand. They don't understand. Why, why would you go out there this kind of weather? They don't understand. There's a deep hunger that must be filled. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, problems are going to be a part of your life. In life, you're either going through a storm Right? Are you hearing me? You're on your way to a storm. You are actually in a storm or you coming out. It, it's a part of life. So I don't care if you're a, you're a star athlete. I don't care if you're a billionaire. I don't care if you're a CEO of one of the most important companies. I don't care if you're an entertainer. Like, I don't care who you are. We all have problems. What I'm trying to tell you is this though. Don't be consumed with them. Problems are a part of life. But guess what? They're not life. I want you to focus on your goals. I want you to focus on your solutions. Like, I want you to focus on uh, that dream life that you have. Now, all I'm telling you is stop letting the, the, the problems consume you. And that's what I need you to do. I, I just need you to deal with it because it's not going to go away. When you get on the other side of the problem, it's everything you dreamed of. I don't care how complex it is. I don't care. What I'm telling you to do is to deal with it. And once you deal with it, once you understand, as long as you are alive, problems are a part of your experience. So, 
You can get through this. You will get through this. You must get through it. You are going to get through this.